just telling their stories to me, and here I am appealing to you. That is, that is, I'm about to, Mr. Publisher. Names, Donnelly? A. Hollywood? Ooh, love that handshake. Call me D.A. for short. I've come with something to present, but first, preamble. I'm a regularly inspired individual. Scouts honor, it's the little things that take me places. Take my word for what it's worth. This ain't no little thing I'm about to transition into, no. I've partnership to offer. You're a bookie, are you not? A bookmaker, a professional taker of bets? You bet on what reading material is going to work, am I right? I mean not to offend. But recent studies have shown not many people read books. Let's take it to the Gallup poll. The Gallup poll is unanimous. Reading is boring. Face it, your average Joe don't pick up a book because your average book don't pick up. You, Mr. Publisher, are responsible for causing average Joe's imaginative fancy to short. Guess who's a knocking on my door at untimely hours of the morning? Average Joe. And he's the one his fix of entertainment at post the 8-hour workday. Just 6 a.m. yesterday. I'm on my penthouse doorstep saying, Peter Piper picked a pair of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pair of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? And I've got a very busy schedule. I can't be doing that on the routine fly. What I'm driving at, Mr. Publisher, is that this is the 21st century. And considering the rate by which our technological extensions progress, it might as well be the 22nd. Tell me, Mr. Publisher, who in the 22nd century is reading ink letters on paper pages for entertainment purposes? I'll tell you who. Martyrs and addicts. And everybody else is quite content with the gizmo gadget hullabaloos. You, Mr. Publisher, have got to think about the future you may have heard. The future is now. You have got to readjust, rekindle, redefine your target audience. I have a suggestion. The people. I'm saying. In fact, I'm urging. You make your target audience, anybody, everybody out there, with enough top ramen in the bean cap to take notice. The question, of course, how? For it's publishing. Crumple wastebasket. It's rudimentary, black and white. And let's be honest, the only eclectic taste you got is one for money. And if we make cut to the bare bum bottom line, you talk money, you talk my language. Mr. Publisher, let me put it to you this way. How would you like to produce? Produce what? Schematics, innovation, creation of a high order that you're gonna want in on. And make no mistake, this ain't no knapsack of malarkey. I'm talking real-time proposal. I'm talking something that ain't yet been undertaken. I'm talking book, movie, the first ever. Now let the sound settle into the practicality department of your willy gig processor. Book, movie, not a flick equipped with subtitles, nor a novel stacked with audio visual. It walks a fine line between written and the all-American form. Book, movie, it streams. You fund it, I'll get the reel a-rolling. And like finger snap, you go from binding paper to finance and flick. Motion, pick. The amusement of today and Manana. And before you know it, Mr. Publisher, if you grant your consent, I could have you sitting in an office chair with even enough umph to comf that frumpy tush. What do you say? What's that? You're telling me to get out? You're kidding. Not interested whatsoever? Something I said. Hmm. Well, in that case, call security. Because here comes the catch. Of course, there's a catch, and it's criminal. The catch is in the capture. I mean to say the film. I've evidence... Right here, that's nothing short of sparkly. I've got footage, just enough frames revealing a main character. I'm talking one full of Quixotic delusions which you formerly had stock in. Until now. Why now? I'll be blatant, candid, frank. He's free. Okay? On the loose, on the frolic. I'm saying he has literally leaped, come out of the book. Your book. And who's going to be held responsible? You are, Mr. Publisher. You are you. I'm talking blackmail. Understood? It's unethical, I know, but let's face it. I'm Hollywood. And in control is the only zone of comfort known by me. It's where I have to be that way things happen. Know why? Because I want what I want and it's what I'm going to get. That's what a skull's call showbiz. Now, you either be a Delilah dandy and appropriate me with the funds I require, or I'm going to take this little sugar cubo exploitation to the public eye. That's right, the mainstream. I'm talking WWW. And how you think the people are due to take it? Gonna react. What would you do, Mr. Publisher, if this went viral? Out of many, one. Out of one, many.